two different colors, not necessarily yellow and purple, but one are characteristics and one have the drawings. What you will do is divide them into two piles face down. It's like concentration, so you're trying to match up the properties and the polygon that it matches. So lay those out face down. And you will take turns trying to match them up. Read the characteristics or the properties aloud. I'm going to put one of these face down. If you've been learning about polygons, you know they have at least three sides. It's a closed figure. All the sides are straight. So I'm going to choose one from one side, one yellow one, and one purple one. So I go ahead and I flip it over. I read the property. This one says pick up a face card polygon and name a property to match that card. Well, since I've already lifted one, I am going to say that there are two sides that are equal length and two sides that are shorter of equal length. They become mine now because I was able to name two properties. Then it's my partner's turn. That partner would choose a property card and it says on this one that there are four sides of equal length. I know that that would be a square. This is the picture that I drew. Uh, and we know that those are not four sides of equal length. Instead of turning those over, I leave those face up. You can do what's called steal, and I'll tell you that in just a minute. So it's the next partner's turn. Partner chooses a polygon card and a property card, and it says this polygon is concave. Well, I know that concave means the vertice pushes in, and this one does not push in like a cave would, as if you were to go in a cave. So I keep those face up. Now the way that you can steal is if someone sees now something that matches, that wasn't drawn at the same time, they can say steal and explain it, but none of their those match. So it would be the next person's turn. There are two pairs of parallel sides. Choose a polygon card, and this is what the person drew. Those do not match. So again, if there's anything that is facing up that matches, someone can say steal, even if it's not their turn. Next person's turn. There is only one right angle. There are no right angles with this shape, this trapezoid, so I leave them face up. Again, at any point in time, if I see something that can be stolen, I say steal and I explain which two match. So next person's turn, the rectangles, and our property says all angles are right angles, and they actually do match. And the way we indicate that it's a right angle is that little square corner. So these two match, so that would go to the partner who drew them. Be the next person's turn. If you match, your turn is over. You don't get to go again. There are four equal sides and four equal angles. So then I choose a polygon card. And this one does match. There are four equal sides and four equal angles. So that goes to the person who drew it. Next person's turn, polygon card, property card. This shape is not a polygon. That does not match because that is a polygon. It has three or more sides. Sides are closed and the sides are straight. Nothing can be stolen yet. Next person's turn. There are only four sides and this one has three sides. So that doesn't match, but someone could say steal and these two that were up, there are only four sides, matches. So whoever would say steal first would get this. Continue playing until all of the matches have been made that are possible, and then you can go ahead and shuffle them up and play again.